Peyton Manning is a 14-year NFL veteran who's played his entire career with the Indianapolis Colts. Apparently, his days with the team are coming to a close. Now, sources say the Colts will release Manning on Wednesday, ending much speculation regarding his future with the team. Owner Jim Irsay decided to pass up the $28 million bonus owed Manning and not pick up the four remaining years on his contract, meaning Manning will become a free agent. Now, the Lakers are undefeated since Kobe Bryant has worn a mask to protect his broken nose suffered in the NBA All-Star game. The masked bandit with his team facing Detroit. First quarter action and Powell Gasol on the drive, off glass and gets the bucket. Now Lakers guard Steve Blake with the lob and flush for Andrew Bynum, who had 30 points and 14 boards. Final seconds of the game, Lakers down by two, but Kobe hits a fall away for the, for the tie and they would go to overtime where the Lakers would stumble once again on the road, losing to the hapless Pistons in the extra period, 88 to 85. The CIF State Basketball Playoffs begin Wednesday night. The Stockdale girls garnered a number 12 seed in Division I and face Fontana Summit on the road. The Mustangs are confident and understand the urgency you must play with when the situation is one and done. Tough loss on Saturday was, was one of our major goals. and We discussed uh, some of the issues we had done uh, hadn't uh, accomplished in terms of making layups, put backs, and that we, that's what we've been working on. At this point, it really doesn't matter what seed we are. It's, it's just a matter of playing our best game when we get on the court and getting the win. We watched the video. They're a good team and all, but I think we can hang with them. I think we'll do a good job. The Ridgeview girls team is set to hit the road tomorrow night as well when they take on third seed of the Royal Grande. The team knows mentally it must be better prepared for Wednesday night's outing against the number three seed. You know, the, the one game in the state bracket is always tougher. It's a little tougher than what we normally see, but the good part about the state round is they're not used to seeing Erica every night. Tomorrow's just about motivation, keeping our heads up in the game. You know, uh, losing this pitch was a tough loss, but we just got to come back, and uh, hustle is a very big key. We played the team before, so I really think we're confident coming in. Not confident, but we're hungry. We're way hungry than before. The Ridgeview boys host a Royal Grande Wednesday night in their first round game. They scored on a buzzer beater last Saturday to advance and know they'll have to play much better to get to the second round. Our guys are real confident. That's what's brought us some success. They believe. They believe. They believe in themselves. They believe in their teammates. I'm expecting a better offensive game from us because as, as far as, you, well, as, as you've seen, if you've seen the game, we didn't have a good offense in the game. You know, we're just going to try to out-hustle them and see what we can do on the offensive end and play the tough defense that we play every week. Cal State men's basketball coach Rod Barnes was named the Independent Coach of the Year by CollegeSportsMadness.com. The website voted Barnes the honor based on the team's 16 and 14 mark this past year. The 16 wins are the most for the Roadrunners since entering the, the Division I ranks. And in addition, junior guard Stephon Carter earned first team all independent recognition. Carter led the team in scoring with over 12 points per game. The Twins taking on Tampa Bay today in spring training and the Twins led 3-1 to one in the eighth Make it 3-2 after this RBI single from Jose Labaton. But it all ends in the ninth when former Bakersfield College hurler Phil Dumatre serves up some special K. And that ends the game with the Twins getting the 3-2 win. And some extra scores, Cal State base, Bakersfield baseball wins, BC softball and baseball, both victorious. All right, big news for uh, NFL. Uh, it's you know it's not surprising not, though. Not quite a shock. A lot of people expected Peyton Manning to be released. Mm -hmm. You know, no one really knows how healthy he is. You know, three neck surgeries in a 16-month span. That's a lot. We don't know if a, one hit will put him out of commission. So if he is healthy, relatively healthy, probably 80% of Peyton Manning is better than most quarterbacks in the league, and someone would sign him.